Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Impala by Hegstrom Guitars. This guitar was first introduced in 1963 and it's back and better than ever with some of the old, uh, I guess some of the, some of the throwback technology and some brand new things that make it, make it, I guess, more practical and usable for today's applications. Uh, before I say more about this guitar, I'll tell you about how we're recording it. In short, I'm plugging the Impala directly into a supersonic Fender amp. We're going to go between the clean and the dirty channel, and they're both basically flat. They're supposed to be flat. They're flat-ish. Uh, we're miking it with a Royer R121 mic. That's going into an Apache, Apache Quartet and then into Pro Tools. So basically, plugging straight in to an amp and going. And um, just, I guess, a uh, author's note, I love pedals, man. I love playing with pedals, but I think to give you, the viewer, a better idea of what a guitar sounds like, it's better to just go straight in. That way, you at home or in a music store can get an idea of what it's like without any, without any extra stuff. So, there it is. That's how we're recording it. Now, let me tell you all about this guitar. So, here's the basic details. As you can see, built in 1963, they went with this kind of George Jetson spaceship aesthetic, which I really dig. Uh, cool appointments here. It's a it's a set neck. I don't know if the original one had had one, but this is a set neck, which is something to expense, expect in a more expensive guitar. But feels great, sounds great. Uh, it is, as I said, an all mahogany body. Truss rod is something called the H expander. Not exactly sure what that is, but apparently it uh, it helps with truss rod kind of things. Uh, radius is 15. There's 22 medium jumbo frets which uh, are kind of small by today's standard, which I really like. I like that size. Uh, a tusk nut, um, Graftech black tusk nut, which can help in intonation. Um, the pickups are very cool. These are like the originals uh, that came out. And apparently they're um, Alnico, and they sound great. Now, they're a little buzzy and loud, which you'll get in single coil, but it's a cool tone that you you'd be hard pressed to duplicate with a modern pickup. So this is a, a brand new old pickup, which I really dig. The whammy bar uh, is very, um, I guess almost kind of like a jazz master, but it, it works really well. Kind of hard to leave alone, it feels so good. Um, probably the most interesting thing, you've got one volume, but then you've got all these crazy switches right there. Uh, there's like 15 of them. No, not really, there's six of them. But it seems like there's 15. And I'll tell you what they do. Uh, the first one is, they're, they're basically on and off. If they're all up here, you're off completely. And then you can start feathering them in. The first one is the neck. Uh, the last one is called a um, top bass cut on off. And I found that I kind of like that one on all the time. So. Just becomes way more alive. So right now we're in the neck with the top bass cut on. So. Very cool. Next, we have, this is a, uh, a tone switch, meaning it basically cuts the tone. 
and it's almost kind of like on Gretsch's, how they would have those weird switches up there to turn off the tone. Same thing here. So, so just a dark, jazzy kind of thing. Very dark, but cool nonetheless. Let me turn that off. And you'll notice when you cut, when you turn that on, your uh, 60 cycle hum goes away because you're losing all of those frequencies. Uh, next is the bridge pickup. So I'll turn off the neck and just give you the bridge alone. Pretty cool. Uh, next to it, much like the neck, we have a tone kill for that, uh, for the bridge as well. And, you know, very dark, but that would work for kind of a woman tone, you know. You know, it's a it's it's a weird tone, but there's a but this is a weird guitar, and I like that. Who doesn't like weird guitars? So next in line, and the final one to talk about is this switch, which they call the mute switch. Uh, I'll turn on both pickups and show you what that does. <laughs> Um, I emailed the manufacturer when I was playing this and I said, hey, the mute switch doesn't work because it's not muting it. And I was told that what they mean by mute is almost like a trumpet mute. It, uh, it, changes, the, it changes the tone kind of like a trumpet mute would, gives you a different tone, which makes more sense because if you turn all these off, you got to mute anyway. But it's a weird, cool tone. <laughs> Here's it off. But that's a cool, weird tone. Um, let me just show you a little bit more what it sounds like with both pickups on. I'll go between clean and dirty.
know, kind of a cool thing about this guitar too, you know, in most guitars with a whammy bar, if you drop an E to a D, it will go way out of tune. And this goes a little out of tune, but it's, you know, it, it's, uh, it's acceptable. <laughs> it's, an, it's, ex it's an acceptable amount of, of uh, tuning glitches. You know, it's not that far off, really. You'd be hard pressed to get that intonation on a different kind of whammy bar. So those are the basics on the Hegstrom Impala. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook and subscribe to our ever-growing YouTube channel. This is John Bolger. Till next time. <laughs>